Resting on the scenic bluffs of the Mississippi River sits Quincy, Illinois, a quaint river town founded by John Wood and named after President John Quincy Adams. Just 20 years after the young city of Quincy was incorporated, the foundation for what is now known as Quincy University was laid, an institution of higher learning that would teach the minds and touch the hearts of thousands of young men and women for the next 150 years. At the heart of Quincy University, you can and will always find the Franciscan Order. When the Franciscans migrated to America to provide spiritual support for German immigrants settled in the Midwest, they chose two initial locations, Teutopolis, Illinois, and the location where we are gathered to celebrate tonight, the city of Quincy. In 1859, the German province gave approval for a Franciscan-led college to be started in Quincy. At the turn of the new year in 1860, 50 students walked through the doors of the school located on the corner of 8th and Main Streets, the first building used for the college. Soon after, four acres of land on the east end of Quincy was donated to the Friars for the purpose of establishing a parish and school. The school and parish were named after St. Francis Solanus, a 16th century Spanish friar and South American missionary. Classes were taught in the St. Aloysius Orphanage until 1871 when the school's first facility was built. Two years later, in 1873, the state of Illinois chartered the college. In 1893, an additional wing was constructed, creating what is now known as Francis Hall. The spiritual center of the college was built in 1912 with the completion of the chapel. The chapel was designed by Brother Anselm Wolfe, who also designed St. Anthony Church in South St. Louis. In 1917, the school changed its name to Quincy College and Seminary. Throughout these early years, five to ten friars staffed the school with as many as seven lay faculty members. One notable lay teacher was Charles Percy McHugh, an English professor who began teaching at the college in 1904. McHugh began a tradition of putting on a Shakespearean play each year. McHugh also began the first student publication, the Salonian, which circulated from 1905 to 1924. Five years after the Salonian's last issue, the present-day student newspaper, The Falcon, was created. His legacy is still felt today. When the space under the chapel was transformed into a theater in 1965, it was named McHugh Theater in his honor. The 1930s brought great change to the school. The motto, the school for your boys used in the 1920s was outdated and in 1932, lay women were first admitted as students. Another model of the school, a sound mind in a sound body, led to an emphasis on athletics. The Quincy community began rallying around the school's varsity sports, further integrating the college with the community. Intramural sports also played a large role on campus. When the St. Aloysius Orphanage built its new facility in 1918, the college purchased the property in which the old building stood and the present athletic field, or A-field, was created. In 1921, the students were promised a revitalized athletic program and when the football coach resigned at the beginning of the school year, 1920 graduate Mark Heinen stepped in to fill in as interim coach for his alma mater until a suitable replacement could be found. Heinen, an outstanding athlete and respected coach, would spend the rest of his career at the college and the current athletic booster club is named in his honor. Enrollment dropped dramatically with the start of World War II when every male student was placed in line for recruitment into the armed forces. Training programs for military cadets and an increase in the number of religious sisters attending the college helped keep enrollment steady during wartime. The college saw an explosion in enrollment once the war ended in 1945 and the school began to expand. Several small war surplus buildings were placed on the site where Centennial Hall currently stands and two mansions on Main Street became dormitories for women. Stillwell Hall, now the Quincy Museum at 16th and Main, and Bonfoy Hall at 1651 Main Street, now a private residence, served as dormitories until on-campus dormitories were built in the early 1960s. In 1946, the St. Aloysius Orphanage building was purchased by the college, renamed Solano Hall, and used as a male dormitory. In the late 1950s, the first on-campus dormitories were constructed. Augustine Hall and Woods Hall followed by Centennial Hall and Garner Hall in the early 1960s. With new homes for the growing student population complete, the college needed additional space for the Friars living on campus. In 1964, Friars Hall was constructed with space for 60 men, a dining room, a recreation room, a tailor shop, guest rooms, and parlors. Prior to the addition of the building, the Friars had been living on the second and third floors of Francis Hall. The new building served as home to the Friars until 2002 when a new friary was built on 20th Street on the east of the campus. Friars Hall became a residence hall for students. 
In 1966, additional student housing was created with the construction of Padua Hall. In 1964, the college made another important addition. Soccer became a varsity sport. Under the direction of John Ortworth, Roger Francoeur, and Frank Longo, Quincy College quickly rose to national prominence as a member of the NAIA. Quincy won a total of 11 NAIA National Soccer Championships between 1966 and 1981, including five consecutive championships under coach Jack McKenzie. On the heels of the successful men's program, women's soccer was added in 1983. Led by Bill Postilion until 2005, the program finished nationally ranked in the top 20 nine times. In 1967, Brenner Library was constructed and named after Dr. and Mrs. Frank Brenner for their years of dedication and commitment to the college. In addition to the upgrade in space, the library featured a temperature-controlled room which currently houses a large rare book collection, including pieces that were part of the library that the Franciscans brought to America from Germany. Growth continued through 1970 when enrollment peaked at just over 2,000 students. At this time, the school dropped a seminary from the name and became Quincy College. In the mid-1980s, the campus would expand once again when the Franciscan province sold the campus on 18th and Seminary Road, previously used as Our Lady of Angels Seminary, to the college. Now known as North Campus, it houses the chemistry, biology, physics, psychology, and music programs. A state-of-the-art soccer facility was also built on North Campus to be accompanied in 2005 by a softball stadium named the Mart Heinen Softball Complex. In 1993, Quincy College became the school that exists today. Quincy University, a Catholic, independent, liberal arts institution of higher learning that stands in the centuries-old Franciscan tradition of education. Today, 150 years after the school opened its doors for the first students, the practice of caring, learning and connecting in the Franciscan tradition continues in each student. In the past 150 years, a tradition of higher education has been forged in the Franciscan spirit and lives on in the hearts and minds of the faculty, staff, and students who have left their marks while here on campus. A foundation that promises another successful and blessed 150 years.